Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a toddler breastfeeding edition of what I eat in a day video and how I get over uh, kind of not feeling very good. I'm a little bit, have been going a little bit through kind of health stuff because of not sleeping. All right, the whole house is super, super messy right now and I'm speed cleaning while she's either wanting me to play with her or trying to nap right now and I'm trying to clean up the kitchen while she is uh, either playing or sleeping but everything is soaked in borax right now it's pretty dirty and I'm soaking the whole counter in borax and the cutting board and then I'll be scrubbing now it's this is the before <laughs> and I started the day with milk oolong tea soaked in hot water I, I brew it many times because once you brew it once the tannin starts to come out and then you sleep really well now this is not gonna be an insect safe edition because I'm also having honey because during my healing story I used honey it uh, kills cancer on the spot according to the medical medium it's very antiviral it has over 200 never discovered phytochemicals in it it's really healing and when you are purchasing from conscious beekeepers that actually ensures that we have nice crops going on better raspberries bread, uh, better um, veggies and <sighs> speaking of not safe for insects edition this is the third violation today we have a fly in the honey the bees that made the honey and the borox which kills crickets and i have crickets during spring so now we're getting crickets and i'm gonna scrub down the counters and show you what else i've had but i had a few big tablespoons of honey which supplies glycogen to your liver and i'll tell you in a little bit what i've been going through and the supplements i'm taking to feel better <laughs> so i will i just got done scrubbing the tile and i have a real 50s kitchen so the tile is very old and it borox with vinegar just does an amazing amazing job for uh, scrubbing the tile i use this borox oh baby is awake and some distilled vinegar and it just literally cleans up the tile really well i soak it and then i'll scrub it all right now i'm gonna have this because I made it a point to add wheatgrass, barley grass and chlorella into my diet. This one has wheatgrass, ashwagandha, um, horseradish, spirulina, chlorella, matcha. It also has coconut water. Um, I said ashwagandha, red beet, turmeric. So it, and it's really delicious. You don't need to blend it, you just basically place it in a cup. This is my teacup with a little bit of tea left. You just blend it in and pour water in it and that's it. Maybe let the mess pile up a little bit but take care of yourself and i'm gonna have my green drink it's really delicious i i am assuming this is amazing for traveling because you don't need any type of fancy blender in order to make it here and the name is organifi green juice organic dairy free vegan soy free okay so i i have a second to sit down and drink my drink and see if baby is waking up or going back to sleep she's making a little sound and then she stops so um i recently have we are going through a little bit of a difficult uh, sleeping patch where sometimes she wakes me up she can keep me up a lot through the night and then finally we fall asleep at five in the morning or something but still like for an hour or two intervals and sometimes she's just having just dreams or something and she's keeping me up so that's been obviously difficult and that's the one thing i remember with my when my brother was born that was the hardest thing i remember about having a baby or a toddler and right now it's a little more difficult than an infant because her sleep is a little worse and um 
and on top of it we're moving so this is exciting we're moving out of LA out of California so happy uh, and that's exciting but also stressful because I have to get rid of a lot of I have to let go of a lot of my possessions and box everything and just there's a lot of emotion I got I boxed probably a thousand books and we just donated it to a library which was very sad because those are my favorite books also I had a few other personal stresses so all of this compiled on me and I knew that my immune system is suppressed and I'm just not my best i can't work out obviously still postpartum i can't work out really hard because it's not good for my body i need to be in a nourishing stage now which i am trying to be as much as i can given the circumstances but at the same time with no sleep and just actual natural life stresses my immune system gets suppressed there is sometimes we go into certain situations in life where that's how the situation is and you do the best you can so i i had something really strange happen to me and um, um it was um basically i had a little bit of a like um neck and shoulder pain one day which just kind of spread out and fired up and it was through the roof pain like the the next worst pain after um birthing pain and that was like a burning insane pain just insane and i could tell it's in the nerves not in the muscles not in the bones i could tell it's nerve pain and at first i thought maybe a pinched nerve because i don't sleep very uh straight uh in bed because i'm co-sleeping but no um i'll tell you in a second so after a few days my um a few days of pain my shoulder went numb and it was numb only for a few hours and after that i just couldn't move my arm anymore like everything here became paralyzed so i'm like really pinched nerve what is this like i don't understand what what is this so i googled it and it said uh, i googled the severe shoulder pain or severe shoulder and neck pain something like this and i came up with exact description of my diagnosis brachial neuritis it's basically um um they don't know what causes it but they suspect that it is viral and that's my that was my initial reaction and um, i've been coincidentally listening to the medical medium and he explains how everything is a lot of our conditions are viral and those viruses are latent in our body of course we all have a lot of viruses some more than others but we all have viruses that you know when your immune system is down and you're not sleeping, they will, they're opportunistic virus, they'll come up. That's like the type of shingle virus. So this was similar to shingles to me in the sense that it attacked the nerves. And it was just because it happened on a night when we had visitors and our sleeping situation was a little different and Lodi didn't sleep all night. And we were literally up until morning, until dawn. And in the morning I had a little bit of that pain and then it uh, flared up. So anyways, I started reading about it and it was saying, oh my God, this the pain can go forever on and you can lose, uh, your paralysis can happen for a year and so forth. So I was like, oh my God, really? Like, this is terrible. Anyways, I accepted it because what can you do? And started, I, re I realized within myself that most things are viral and I realized this is just an opportunistic virus that's attacking the nerves, the way shingles is, it's the same family virus. And even um, the regular um, medicine recognizes that it's most likely viral. And most people suffer through it a lot because they don't, uh, re uh, they don't uh, attack the virus. So I started taking so many antiviral herbs and the pain cleared within five days then it was like a little less pain and then the arm wouldn't work <laughs> i couldn't lift my arm at all this was absolutely impossible it was just stuck here and i could put it here with no pain but i couldn't move it there and after a few days i could lift it forward though because those are the nerves that got affected all those nerves here anyways as i was doing bar antiviral herbs everything came back together and maybe right now maybe if i'm to lift dumbbells this arm is a little weaker because of the muscles being um uh, going through uh, nerve damage and paralysis for like a few days but overall it's coming back great and <laughs> it was bizarre 
and I'm just sharing it because a lot of people uh, suffer from strange afflictions and they never think to um, affect the virus even uh, elevated liver enzymes is viral it's basically chronic um, uh, either hepatitis or chronic Epstein-Barr or herpes um, Hashimoto's is also the same thing it's a viral infection and um, let me know if you want me to do a video on antiviral um, protocol but I really hit it heavy and it cleared up um, the 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 flared up symptoms cleared up I could see that the herbs are attacking the virus <laughs> anyway so now I'm thinking okay let's me let me do an antiviral cleanup detox kind of like the medical medical uh, medium inspired detox which just gets a lot of your heavy metals out of your body i know i have been exposed to heavy metals as everybody has been some of us more than others i would have to think that maybe i have been exposed more than others because chernobyl will happen when i was a kid and uh, there was like certain creams for face that were from china that had mercury in them like scary stuff I'm sure lead in cosmetics and so forth so I'm pretty sure I have been exposed to uh, heavy metals to fluoride etc I was taking fluoride pills as a kid it's just a mess anyways but I have cleaned up everything is just when you're really going through massive amount of stress is it's good to do another detox and just strengthen your system and give it rest so I'm doing I'll be doing a lot of heavy metal detox. Let me know if you or if you want me to create a challenge where we all do it together, viral and heavy metal detox, because I'm doing it anyways. I'll be doing it for months and months, just kind of a mild one, nothing that it's too heavy. And I'm eating really clean, mostly raw, but not necessarily. I'll probably make uh, a dip for uh, my raw veggies with potatoes tonight steamed potatoes and i think that's uh, that's it as far as moving goes should i tell you where we're going or should i keep it a secret up until we're there maybe maybe i'll do the second anyways where do you think uh, we're moving it's not in california that's the hint but it's still in america and it's i'm pretty excited anyways uh, i'll show you this is my i've already had quite a bit of calories from the honey so this is kind of nutrients i may have two cups of this uh, with the ashwagandha added to it which is very exciting and, uh, and i'll take my supplements and i'll show you all done and i have the green mustache all right are you ready for some of my supplements so zinc for boosting the immunity which I haven't taken in good 15 years. I've been having a really good immunity, no colds or flus in a really long time since high school. Lysine for the same reason, lemon balm because it's also antiviral and it also calms you down. It's a big Bulgarian herb. Uh, passion flower because I had it already. Cat's claw, I've taken cat's claw a long time ago. It's a great antiviral herb. It's good to add to the pr to any protocol and vegan safe b12 oregano as usual oregano can kill pretty much uh, anything that's the main thing i used actually mostly oregano and zinc and lysine and i ordered zatar which is with the real zatar zatar is a middle eastern spice and oftentimes it's made with thyme but this particular one it's made with hyssop hyssop is a um, biblical herb it's mentioned in the Bible many times it's really antiviral antibacterial it can uh, heal colds flus respiratory issues hormonal issues uh, for weight loss for sinus congestion and the list of benefits keeps going on and on it's a really great herb and dulce this particular dulce is amazingly delicious I totally recommend it over other forms I still have um, some more dose left from my previous dose but this is so good it's organic it's from the northern Atlantic so that's the majority of the herbs I've taken a few more but those are really really effective and work really fast extremely fast Google hyssop benefits I've read a few really amazing articles on hyssop it's for UTIs calms the nervous system aids digestion relieves fevers induces sweating it's blood circulation it's a lot more than this this is just a, a short synopsis 
chest and sinus congestion, blood pressure stabilizes the sugar levels. Yeah, that's one of the things it does and treats nose and throat infection. But it does a lot more than that. It's a really miraculous herb from the Middle East. And this particular spice has it. 33% um, of the spice is hyssop, which is like a wild thyme. And it says it. And no salt. A lot of it comes with salt and I'm avoiding salt. Not completely, but I'm trying to keep it low as much as I can. Yes, sesame seeds, which is calcium, amazingness, and sumac. Sumac is my favorite herb and it always comes with salt. So this is really rare. I, my whole neighborhood, there is sumac in the neighborhood, but it's all dried with salt. It's quite salty, so this is a nice change. It's a really, sumac is really high in antioxidants. Really, it's a berry. So it's a superfood basically. This is so delicious. It makes my veggies taste amazing and I it just makes me actually eat more veggies. And I forgot to mention this is an old supplement I have from many years ago when I was healing and I had thyroid also issues and now I pulled it out and I'll only take it a couple of times. You only take a drop of it if you have trouble losing weight, if you have swelling around the thyroid. It's basically iodine with homeopathic iodine and it really boosts your metabolism and gets um, things moving if uh, your body is kind of like for no reason holding on to fat or um, if you're feeling too cold or have hair loss etc just the, the the typical or you're too tired to, to suppress the typical iodine symptoms so i'm feeling um pretty good i'm taking it easy i take uh, i love uh, sometimes life forcing me to do things that i've been avoiding doing i must say that i love shooting strong classes because for the last many years i've only done strong classes my um my strength was very big, good uh, and now that i'm taking it a little easy i love the opportunity to build a little bit of beginner content because i myself need to do beginner and it's kind of stimulating me to do a beginner um a beginner uh, class uh the half of the kitchen is scrubbed i'll do an interval training and continue cleaning Alright, so I'm done with the workout and can you tell how sweaty I am, but I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweaty. I'll eat one and a half of these melons and I'll make tea from all the seeds and I'll have the tea a few hours after I eat the melon. It's the best tea ever boil your seeds just bring the water to boil steep them blend them with a little bit of nut milk and some stevia and it's like the best tea you can also drink it without anything it's a little more savory almost like a cucumber soup or something like that like a like a broth uh as a sweet tea is really aromatic really delicious it's literally the best tea ever and since i've been breastfeeding melons are my favorite food if it's melon season I won't eat anything else like everything else tastes like not good to me because i just want melons the other day i had jackfruit and mango and peaches and kiwi and no melon and i was dissatisfied <laughs> that's how much i love them this is golden kiss it's a variation of cantaloupe and it's so good it's golden on the inside and it's super super sweet and um aromatic i still have to clean so i'm I'm gonna probably vacuum quickly before I even eat the melon because I want to keep that momentum going. I shot a really strong class. This is my first interval training class in months and months due to just being run down. 
I just basically had too many things happen at the same time and my system just wanted a break and I gave it that. I'm pretty good about listening to my, to my body and doing less than what I can. I always do that. Even when you see me doing crazy classes, it's because I can do way more than that. That's why I do them. And now I do it less than what I can do. And as long as I feel good after a workout, that's my measure. There was a few very light classes I did and I just did not feel strong after. And I realized, yeah, it's just my body wanting rest. It's, it's, I'm still, uh, what happens after postpartum is we give our, a lot of our essence, Jing, to our baby. So we have to rebuild it after after we give birth for three years, we have to be very conscious of that, regardless of energy levels, regardless of if we're getting sleep. Nutrition has to be spot on, which I also was lacking on uh, for a few days. And we have to uh, really focus on rebuilding the gene, the essence, uh, so that we are recovered. Uh, and that's what I'm focusing on doing now, but this is uh, quick interval training sessions are very, very healing. They get the lymph moving, which I'm trying to do. And they make me feel good. They strengthen my joints, build the um, bones, um, work on my uh, uh, hormones. I was pointing here, but all hormones really. And I feel they're nourishing. Now, if you don't feel that they're nourishing for you, then go for the slow yoga classes, listen to your body. That's why we have a feedback mechanism. And um, the kitchen looks pretty good, but it needs some floor scrubbing and some other picking up to do. So I'm going to continue. Hopefully the vacuum will wake up baby because that's my main issue. She's been oversleeping during the day and she is not that tired at night. So I'm going to make a lot of noise now. <laughs> Did you really close to him? Mm. So here I'm about to tell you a really cool story, something that happened to me about my mic equipment. In my work, I have to use a really high quality mic, microphones, because um, uh, I want really good quality sound in my classes. And I'm covering here the mic on the vlogging camera, not on the professional camera. But here it is. That I have no control over. Anyways, so I'm using this uh, kind of expensive mic. It is uh, around $200 and I broke it after I, I bought a new camera. So I had to buy a new mic for the new camera and I broke it. I just dropped the camera and it broke and I bought another one. And just a few weeks later, guess what? I broke it again, but this time, uh, Johnny was able to kind of put tape on it and put it on the camera and kind of it would work most of the time. It would work, but you have to be very tender with it. So I showed a class and I left the camera there where baby plays and I was doing something else. And later on this day, she dropped the whole camera. It was on, a, the camera was really high on a really high tripod. And she just dropped it from really high. It just was from almost to the ceiling high and the whole thing dropped on the ground and I, I almost started crying. I was like, no, <laughs> not again. And I went to check the mic and it was working without tape this time. She just basically fixed my mic. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty awesome. So now my mic works without any um, tender issues. It just, she fixed it by just kind of like in her rough ways all right that's the cool story and i'll um continue cleaning someone's awake someone's awake huh who's awake who's awake she was talking to herself in her bed and i went and got her she wasn't calling me but she was she took a big nap so hopefully we'll sleep tonight uh -huh. you want to say your new words bow bow where's bow bow sophie bow bow <laughs> that's confusing to her because 
there is no reason for her to say bye bow 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 means doggy bow like woof woof we're gonna dance today all right and here is the after effect after vacuuming and i have a massive bag of straight up donation clothes and i just pulled these pants out of the donation uh box because they're pretty nice i used to wear them roll down but they're pretty nice for a mummy situation organic cotton and you can see the whole family <laughs> on the floor <laughs> and you can wear them roll down too johnny thinks they look better roll down nope this is the casualties of being a mommy she really scratched the hell out of me and <laughs> Be and she likes to pull my hair too it's when like, I'm falling it's like asleep. A kitten. Yes, it's dangerous and they're very playful, <laughs> and they will win. Any any anything they will win. Now we're matching. I'm wearing my um, red outfit and she's wearing her ladybug, so we're just in tune. And we're going for a walk. What is this, Johnny? It's my surfboard bag. A surfboard bag for our move. And we just got a massive. They have a two surf park out, so two surf parks out there. I haven't said where uh, where we're moving, so that's a hint. <laughs> and but it's not near the ocean. And um, so the amazing melon and the tea and the melon and the screaming baby who wants to play now when I'm hungry, huh? Can I eat? What do you think? No. it once it comes to a boil and next Jenny and I are gonna have each a kombucha all right so dinner time I have different types of radishes jicama cauliflower and I might slice up some um, cabbage which I'm craving with an avocado flax dip with the dose I showed you earlier and Aleppo pepper this is so good and this one is a lentil tahini kale dip so I have two dips and all kinds of veggies. I'll slice up some cabbage as well. And this is dinner and it is delicious. And Lottie ate almost an entire Lara bar. So I'm completely full now. I will link the recipe to that grain, kale, tahini. And I will link the dip, the tahini dip, the kale, the grain dip recipe I posted it on my website it's so so good and so healthy I also ate a big serving of potatoes the potatoes that I cooked for her earlier and I pretty much ate them <laughs> and I'm full and happy and there is baby she also is pretty happy <laughs> She's tired, but I'm trying to change her bedtime. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Again, we're gonna walk around. That's what we do. Ooh, we do this all night long. She takes me places.